Madeline Stewart, a 22-year-old model from Australia who happens to have Down syndrome. Madeline started modeling back in 2015 and has traveled all over the world to countries like China, Russia, Paris, London, and Dubai. In 2017, she launched her own fashion label, 21 Reasons Why. The name has a dual meaning as it launches the year she turns 21 and the extra chromosome 21, which identifies a person with having Down syndrome. It is said that Madeline has changed the face of disabilities in America and has opened many doors and opportunities for people that face the same challenges. Madeline is a great at what she does and is an inspiration to many. Hi, I'm Mason Kripe, and I've, uh, I've finally run out of Friday show segment ideas. So this is going to be a mellow Friday show. I'm just going to kind of sit here, and uh, you can watch all the cool segments. Uh, the segment is main brand. Video storage technology is used by millions, perhaps billions of people to watch their favorite movies, TV shows, and memories. But in the last 70 years, the medium this technology used has changed a lot and revolutionized how we consume video content. Today, we explore what stages we went through to get to where we are today with video storage on this episode of Evolution of Innovation. Sitting down and watching a TV show on your television at home seems like a regular part of our everyday life. People put little thought into how much actually went of this technology that we so often use. In fact, it all started during the 1950s, where video was recorded on super long tapes, which were read, then read through a machine that converted it to electrical signals to be broadcasted in the US or throughout the world. Unfortunately, this way of playing a television broadcast limits your accessibility to the content because it would only be played during a specific time. As playing these tapes required huge machines that required many miles of tapes to run. Fortunately, advances in technology allowed people to come up with a better way to store media, the VHS, almost 20 years after television became commonplace. The VHS was revolutionary because it allowed for people to easily purchase movies pre-recorded onto the magnetic tape inside the VHS and play it back on their VCRs at home. No longer limiting them to the restrictions of live broadcasting, the VCR read these tapes by passing a magnetic tape over an angled head in the VCR which read lines of data which would create frames that could be displayed on a CRT TV. VHS had actually a lower bandwidth than live television for a long time because there was limited space on the VHS tape. So not only was video played at a lower resolution, but color contrast was very limited as well. There was competition, however, with releases such as the Laserdisc system, which offered better electrical and technical specifications, but those were never in the budget of normal people. This all changed in the mid-90s with the release of the DVD, which introduced up to a 4.7 gigabytes of binary data stored in an extremely small package by having a laser read binary by seeing whether or not it reflects off the disc into a sensor. Not only were DVDs easy to produce, but it was cheap to make the disc readers as well. The DVD also allowed for a higher bandwidth than most cable packages, making it look better than even live TV. DVD was such a big deal that it only took five years for it to almost take the entire market share. As technology advanced, however, and flat screen became the new standard, the 4.7 gigabyte limit and the 480p resolution that was standard at the time definitely became a little bit outdated, spurring the release of the Blu-ray disc in 2006, which functions similarly to the DVD but is made it out of a different material, and binary could be stamped more compactly onto the disc allowing Blu-ray discs to store up to 25 gigabytes of data on one side of the disc, enough to store multiple hours of 1080p film. In 2015, however, the Ultra HD Blu-ray platform was announced, and it allowed playback of 4K to 4K TVs. Today, however, many no longer use the old LaserDisc technology, and instead opt for streaming services, where a movie can be streamed to your device whenever you want, wherever you want, whether you are watching a smartphone or a TV. Overall, this technology has changed the way we live our lives and affected us in many different ways. And who knows, where will it go next? What's up? This is Anthony. He's part of the track team and he's cooler than me. So he's going to host the Friday show. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to give you a little preview of uh, what this track season is going to look like.
Last Monday and this Monday, the, Bur the boys and girls track team competed in their first and second meet of the season. Let's see how they did. Last Monday, the boys the boys team in their 4x8 had one of the best comebacks that had ever been captured on an RDN camera. Let's get to that. On Monday, the girls team had an outstanding performance in the 4 by 8 as well, as they captured first place. Let's see how that went. The sprinters also ran. Let's check on in on how they did. The boys last Monday ran the 55 meter dash. Ryan Farmer got fourth, Bradley Goldsmith ended up in ninth, and Joey Hewart got 14th. Alexa Hankey, Jasmine Jasinski, and Juanito Rodriguez came in 2, 3, and 4 for the girls in the 55 and home run. The shot put at Merrillville and Munster, so let's see how they did. At the shot put at home this Monday, Tanner Greenhold took second place. Let's see how that went. Last Monday against Maribel and Chapo. Andrew Ustrug got sixth place and Adam Lave got eighth. Let's see how that went. His brother was insane. Sadly, both of these meets were not scored, which means it will not count towards the team record for the indoor season. Also, sadly, the qualifier for indoor state at Purdue has been canceled due to COVID 19. See you later, RDN. We'll check back in on the track team soon. It doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life. With mental fresh and full of life. Nothing gets to you. Staying fresh, staying cool. With mental fresh and full of life. Fresh goes better. Bonimentos, anapati tu.